there is rain and storms, and most of those are primarily north of Indianapolis. We hope it stays that way. We thank you for joining us for Indy 11 Soccer on My Indy TV and ESPN+. Plus. You wouldn't sing on the fly, but, but probably more changes than Mark Lowry had anticipated going into the campaign. Right. Quinn da Costa. Trilt just casually puts a left hand down. Not like it was his second match of the season. Lasquez cuts it back all the way to Martinez. Quinn advancing forward. Quinn knocks it across. Ball tipped. Velasquez a second oh shot. My. Cannot get it through. But all year and Mark Lowry applauds yet again. Absolute brilliance. Look at the spacing. We've got options everywhere. One touches. Guys are making the right runs. So creative, just unfortunate. That one almost kind of trickled past roaming at the end just kind of realized where he was and on the road again one more time but it's next saturday as they head to play san diego loyal turchi a miscue martinez a leave ball deflected can martinez follow oh. up no wow teammate let's well, take another look missed touch by turchi and then dougie's looking does he have an option better than a shot with the defender and a keeper in front of him and he felt he did he simply is able to keep that ball on the ground. It's Heinemann, Borzak. Great run by Fernando. Cuts it back to Fernando. Little back heel there, just a little too far back. Borzak has a hit. Save made wow. by Tim Trill. Been of the cardworthy variety, but it's going to start to become an accumulation issue for Memphis here pretty soon. And combining his days in both Tulsa and Memphis this year. Memphis, this is their 22nd match of the season. DaCosta has played in 24. Because Tulsa's played a few more matches at this point than Memphis has. Velasquez. Great ball oh, to Blake. He goodness. is onside. It is one on one for Jack Blake. Blake has a hit. Blake pulls it wide. Gets a couple of defenders wrong footed. Sees Blake out wide. I don't know how his head was down. He saw him. He knew he was there. Plays it out perfectly for him. Blake just puts it a touch wide. Memphis complaining about lack. Be back at home on Wednesday to take on Tyler Pasher in Birmingham. Legion wins. Kick up. That was Chapman Page. They got ahead of that one and just did steer it. Ball goes all the way through. Headed down. And that one finds the back of the goal. Trump could not get to it in time. Memphis has the lead, and it's Turchi that gets the goal for the visitors. Ball served in. Turchi finds the end of it. For Turchi, it's his first goal of the season. Chapman Page couldn't get to it. Trilk couldn't get there in time. And, and that's going to be it. Again, Indy has had the more numerous of chances, but the scoreboard is what it says it is. Indy is chasing the game yet again at home. They trail Memphis 1-0 at halftime. Lindley got in the way, but Blake couldn't control it. Heinemann or Zach gives it a hit. Didn't miss that by much. Just steered that wide left. Budani back heels outside of the 18. Yo could not get there in time. Malloy digs in. Da Costa, ball headed off the frame. Have a hit, have a couple of hits to it. Goodness. Ball pinballs throughout the 18-yard box. Corner coming for the visitors from Memphis. Boy, this had so you know, both both of the balls off the corner and then this serve from Malloy just open things up and look at all of the different opportunities. That's four options inside of the 18. Velasquez, Quinn, Budadi, just not enough on it, directly at Roman. Those things have a funny way of working out, though, you know, one of the guys that is coming off, maybe the guy that gets the equalizer Let's right Let's see, now. here you go, Velasquez walks the tightrope, keeps touch. it in play, finds Asante, a turn, a lead, a hit, a goal! That's a great ball. His eighth of the season, it is time to do the smoke here in Indianapolis. We are tied at one in minute number 58. Picked up a pretty important assist in his career and drives that ball back to Quinn, who just strikes an absolute beauty. So give Solomon Asante the assist. That is his 49th of his career.
If you now combine the number of assists and goals he has, he joins Aiden Quinn in the Century Club. And 17 appearances during that time with the Major League Soccer side. Now his second year in Memphis. Kelly with plenty of space to operate. Borzak to his left. What an overlapping run. Borzak has a hit. Trilt. Well, oh, lost it for a moment. But hangs on when it mattered most. Pickering for Fernando. Oh. Great turn by Fernando. Plays it across to Kissingadu. The lead for Ward and Ward finds the back of the net. Memphis is back in front in the 81st minute. Akeem Ward gets the goal in his 100th appearance in the USL Championship. It's one of India 11's nemesis in Kissingadu. Look at that turn. Finds him at the top of the box. Lays it off for Ward. One touch. Brilliant build-up goal. Sprawling effort by Trilk, but couldn't close the door. See that the 11 have had to deal with all year. And, you know, at some point there's balance, and you got to figure Quick. some late in the match something's going to happen that goes your way. Quick restart. Good blast by Robledo. Saved by Roman. And we'll start to glance toward the fourth official and Peter Bernardi and see exactly how much time is going to be left in this match. I would guess three minutes, maybe four. Molina. Foul. Then a card shown. Perhaps it is good news for the Indy 11 that home matches are starting to dwindle for the remainder of the season. And that's it. Memphis sees a winless streak end. They get their first win since June 24th.